back to my channel. I'm doing another video today. So today's video is pretty much how we food shop here in Guam. Um, I did, a, so what I have is I went to two different stores, but one store I did go to two different locations just because um, starting January 2024, we're starting to do a little bit more food prep, kind of planning out our week and what we're having for dinner. Um, right now, my husband is doing nights, so he's 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., so pretty much throughout the day he's sleeping. Might eat once, might not eat kind of thing. Um, so pretty much it's I cook right before we leave and then we pack his food so then he can eat when it comes to his break time. Um, but we're trying to be better, 2024. Living here has been, I'm not gonna lie, a struggle on trying to, cause I'm so used to just, if I want it, I'm buying it. Just, I don't even look at the price sometimes. Just, oh, I want this, I want this, I want that. And then now from going from two incomes to one income, it's becoming, it's a little harder. Plus everything is just a little bit more strenuous when trying to food prep because at the end of the day, we have to realize that there's shortage on food because it's either something went wrong in it or um, previously there was, uh, they took all like dry noodles and stuff off the shelf and corn, like cornbread, anything like flour and all that, they took off the shelves um, just because there was an issue with bugs. So, when you try to have like I'm, I'm the type of person I am is I like to eat the same thing over and over and over again until I get tired of it but <laughs> here I can't do that and um growing up in Washington I'm I love salmon I love fish seafood getting fish and seafood is depending on what you're getting it's cheap um but like if you're going for like the big old crab and stuff like that yeah it's gonna cost whatever um but i'm just going for the salmon and salmon is abundant in washington so i literally when my husband met me i was eating salmon like almost every day besides like wing stop and going out to eat and <clears throat> being able to do that but now that we're here not able to do that um but that's just for three years, we'll have control. But um, pretty much we're trying to plan what we're eating. So um, throughout this video, I will show um, kind of how I'm balancing everything, um, knowing that all the products that I would want is not always in stock. So keep that in mind. But um, I did go to our commissary that's here on base. And then there's a place called Payless. It's kind of like Guam's Walmart, but not. Well, it is, but it's not cheap. Um, pretty much, they'll they're sometimes they'll rebrand stuff. Like they'll have Kirkland toilet paper, but that Kirkland toilet paper costs more than it does at Kirkland itself. So you know, third party pricing. So there's stuff that you have to figure out if you want. Um, where are you gonna get it? Like you have to plan out your stuff. But um, pretty much, the first store that we went to was the commissary, and. Ugh, we spent so i had i had a budget of i, I budgeted it for 230 dollars for the whole thing and how i have it grouped up is from the 15th of january all the way to the 21st slash 31st we're gonna try to push it to the 31st um be able to shop just for the end of the the second half of the end of the month and then when it comes february then we'll re-up either February 1st or the 16th right now, the way our bills are looking, is looking like we are gonna do big shops at, this, at the um, second half of each month because then that's when we have a little bit more wiggle room. But um, I haven't got to the video of how we're financing and how we're, we're dividing this up and in, in our um, goals that we had. Um, but pretty much the first store that we went to was the commissary and for, Let's see, for 44 items, we spent $184.22. And this is 44 items of, um, the real total was $175.45, but then there's that surcharge, which is like, kind of like a service fee, where if you go to a restaurant, they, they charge you that 10%, crazy, beyond, beyond me. Because back at home, what you're really battling is 
the reference if you go to the commissary you're paying that surcharge but then there's no tax on the food compared to if you go to target or somewhere else you're paying tax but no but the tax is more than the surcharge because this tax in washington is 10.3 the last time i was there um but here guam is a no tax state so now instead of battling this the overall number you're battling per item per dm like say francis we get roma tomatoes a lot roma tomatoes at the commissary is four dollars and 83 cents per pound compared to the pay less where it's two dollars and seventy nine dollars two two dollars and seventy nine cents a pound but let me tell you that was before i made this list like a week ago a week and a half ago and then we just went there and it's three dollars and let's see it is three dollars and fifty nine cents per pound i was like i was bewildered didn't account for that so we are over budget i said 230 dollars for everything and i even calculated the numbers punched the numbers and everything but we came up to 263.72 and that is coming up with one item that's missing the main there's actually two items in this thing shrimp and ground beef the reason why i went to two pay lesses is because ground beef is really good there none of them had no ground beef not even a small pack so tomorrow is friday hopefully i'll go back and if they have ground beef but if not i'm just gonna say fuck it and go to the commissary and just pay more but ground beef is like the central of uh four of our meals in the next two weeks so i need the ground beef but for those 44 items we spent 184.22 and I was really trying hard to crunch the numbers and look back at my other receipts just to see how much it was. Um, the first play, pay list that we went to was at the Marconeja Mall. Um, that one is at the Marconeja Mall, which is I'm thinking is in the village of Dedido. I don't know. But over there we spent $25.44 because we have the inking that we're gonna get our salmon there. Because salmon here is $17 a pound. Okay. so i was thinking we're gonna get salmon and ground beef let's do it let's get it um but pretty much we only spent excuse me 25 dollars there and then we went to the the other pay list that's closer to us which is my old faithful i like to say i like the, the closest thing where i can just like kind of get up put a hat on look bummy and go when i go to the commissary or the px i don't feel like i can do that because there's such a it's just a different vibe here or just in military life like you can't just go into your local store with some flip-flops on and flip-flop well you can but for me it's just a whole different thing we'll get into that later but um we went to our local one old faithful in gigo because we are in gigo but outside the fence <laughs> we spent 54 dollars and six cents so the only reason why we spent 54 dollars and six cents is because there's two items three items that i did not account for at all but i was just i haven't ate all day so i was hungry and i was already in the effort mood because i couldn't find any ground beef but um the three items that weren't in the um that weren't in the budget but it can serve as breakfast or lunch was the shikuchi powder as we call it, the shikuchi powder it's like the adult version of a lunchable it's originally 21 dollars here but it was on sale for 14.99 so you know how to get one and then orange juice was 9.99 on sale because it's originally 13 dollars just for a regular jug so i had to go in and, and and dabble in that because i miss having orange juice and then I love me some some yo play yogurt whips and those are $1.28 per but that's only when they have it but they had it and it was on sale it was on sale for 64 cents now you tell me are you getting it because I'm getting it I told my husband sorry 
I was digging in there. I took all of them and I got a total of 12 of them. So from the $54.06, we had a total of 17 items. And then for the $25 um, trip, we only had a total of six items. So we can kind of see where everything was going, but I do want to kind of give you the layout of everything and how and what it gets you for $263.72. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off on the freezer items. Um, pretty much we had mixed veggies because that's part of one of the meals. We have uh, green beans, sweet green beans. That's for my beef the sick, which is right here. I needed to get a bottom round, but I ended up just getting top just because I couldn't find the bottom. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure it's the same. But Pretty much round top steak was $5.49 and then I got another one because it's him and I and I feel like we're always battling for meat. This one was $4.92. Then we do have our chicken wings. We love to, like, like I said, I am, sorry. Like I said, I am a Wingstop gal, so literally, you know I had to get my my wings but um these are $13 a bag so yeah and then got chicken breast which is $10 a bag got Cornish hens which were three dollars and something cents each then we got our Sakuchi platter back there and that was 14 on sale then we have our Roma tomatoes um the oranges the mandarins wasn't on the list but when i tell you i need my fruit i need some fruit then we have peeled garlic back there and what is it not focusing the peeled garlic is only 2.99 so that's a sale got the spinach which was 4.99 and then we have our yellow onion or our white onion so I can make salsa we have bell pepper we have serrano peppers we have I'm missing a bag uh, hmm. we have yellow onions we have bananas I've learned to get your bananas green because they go they go bad really bad re really fast then we have all my whips that were 64 cents we got some sparkling water, which is $3.38. Then we got a loaf of bread, which is $3.26. We got our mamacita powder for a filthy. So when we make our beef basic, we can um, have that. And I just got extra ones just in case. Got sardines so I can make tuna. Tuna dip. Got this one. So the ones I was looking for were $0.88. Cents, and there were the other brand this regular and soybean oil, but they were sold out. So I had to go with the sardines that are smoked and I hope they're not too smoky because, bitch. But those were 88 cents. Corned beef, which was $6. Yeah, I think it was $6. And then we have our extra virgin olive oil, which was $13 in 98 cents then we have our lemon which was around two dollars or three we'll see on the list and then we have our canned sweet peas i have these peaches and the canned mandarins weren't on the list but they were dollar 60 something our diced tomatoes to add in for when we are making our salsa that was 88 cents i am been on a roll with these baked cheddar and sour cream chips plus they're cheap off base they're six dollars and 56 cents but on base they're two dollars and 32 cents and then we got our tostitos hence of line we have two bags because i will be making salsa so he gets a bag i get a bag we don't have to argue <laughs> and then we have our lunch meat so this is a black forest ham I got one pound of this and that was $8.63. My husband likes turkey a lot, which I don't know why I did that. Um, but I got a half pound, $5.99. And then I like um, like just regular old roasted turkey. 
but I got a whole pound of that and that was $12. Um, what I do, what I did find out from my friend was that the best thing to do is to get your meat from the deli, have them cut it. It's about, it runs about the same price as already prepackaged meat. And then you're not fighting for your life in there because I remember when we first got here, there was a guy that was, you know, he's into his fitness and he took all the lunch meat, all of it right in front of my face. And I was like, <gasps> So I couldn't have no sandwich. Um, we got eggs. They're, they were on sale for $3.01 compared to the $6 for 18 pack. So we got two of those, just amount to four, 24 eggs. We got milk. They have, so this California Sunshine brand, they have the milk and it's cheap, but baby, no, that's, no, I cannot. I bought it and I was like, ew, what the fuck? Um, so I went to get the lac, uh, lactate, lactate, but usually there's a different brand that I, I like. It's organic and it's really good, but it's, it runs you about $10 here. So in the arms, I got it. <laughs> and then here's the orange juice that I did not account for. Um, but that was on sale for $9.99 and I'm pretty sure it's because it, um, expires January 15th. Um, so the cheese that we usually get is the Kraft Singles, but like the gourmet version, and that's $6.40. So I was like, let's not, because usually I like to get cheese from like the deli or cheese that are prepackaged like this. So we had to get the military special, the freedom choice, and that was $2 and something cents each. And then we got a little bag of rice, which was $5. We have some corn tortillas, the organicas. And these, um, these are surprisingly only two dollars and something cents. But we're gonna make some fajitas. Now the wood for the hamburgers. We went with the Western Farm brand, which is a dollar eighty-eight. And I'm a more of a seeds on the bun type gal, but you know, I gotta chill, I gotta chill. Then I had to give me a box of cereal. It is bang to bits, but it was on sale for $3 and something cents. And pretty much that is the overview of what we got for $200 and 63 cents. All right, $263 and 72 cents is that's what we got here. Now, mind you, we're still missing the hamburger meat and the um and the shrimp so when we have our our meal prep for shrimp alfredo but this is what you get over and weep baby